Hey guys, welcome to, I guess, the last video of this series. Just kind of wanted to wrap the series up with a bunch of, I guess, miscellaneous tips that I hope, well, maybe most of you will find helpful. The first one of which is the notarization of transcripts. So as you all may or may not have seen, we usually, as applicants, need a notarized transcript both for the VPD as well as the actual application to TUM. And for me, I got this done for free at the New York consulate. And I was told by the worker there that usually if notarization of documents are for educational purposes, they are usually free. I'm not sure if this is a global policy for all German consulates around the world, but it's definitely worth investigating before you start shelling out money for a local notary. The second tip is to always email your course coordinator if you have questions that are not on the website. I think this also helps present yourself as like a candidate who's detail-oriented, who would like to know more and to really show interest. So definitely email if you have any issues. And lastly, I would suggest that you check out the course list for the specific master's program you're looking into to figure out their ideal type of student, their, what they're looking for in the application. For example, are most of their courses computational courses or are they more theoretical? And then based off of that, you can emphasize your skills in those specific areas. Otherwise, other tips would just be to make sure that your bachelor's to master's studies are quite similar. Otherwise, it lowers your chance of success because they award points based off of how many courses you've taken that they're looking for. As I've probably mentioned in another video, that I am not quite sure about the other stages of the application. I've seen online that there are sometimes two, but I was actually admitted directly after the first evaluation, about two weeks after I submitted the application, and so I also never had an interview, and I'm not sure if that was because it was a COVID year. So my application experience might have might be different than what you will Good luck if you have a, an interview or a knowledge test, and again, wish you the best of luck, and feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one.